Good evening. So there is none of us here tonight whose lives have not been touched, soundtracked in some part by our next winner. Stars these days are myriad and so often fleeting that talent this enduring and complete cannot be measured in the same terms. I was fortunate enough to tour with him some years ago and we became firm bus buddies and happy backstage groovers. This generous, brilliant man not only sustains what has been a ridiculously long and massively successful career as an artist, but has worked hard to writing, producing and collaborating with an endless stream of A-list performers, from his chic to Lady Gaga, Diana Ross to Daft Punk, Sam Smith, Madonna, Duran Duran, and not to mention the incomparable David Bowie. The queue is endless, always sharing his funk for the sheer joy of it. Tonight, he has found rare time to do some accepting. Ladies and gentlemen, I could not be more proud to give you GQ's Icon of the Year, and there is only one, Mr. Niall Rogers. Uh, thank you, guys. Um, I know you're not supposed to cry and stuff like this. Um, <clears throat> David, David Bowie changed my life. I, when, I, when I first came to London, believe it or not, I got robbed. I'm gonna try and make this short, but this is so important to me. I got robbed and uh, they stole my passport, so I had to stay in London over the weekend until the embassy opened so I could get a new passport. And uh, my girlfriend at the time took me out to see a band called Roxy Music and I never saw rock and roll people dressed up in couture clothing before. And I went, fuck, I gotta do the black version of that. And I founded my band Chic. And, <clears throat> and, and back in the day, when we would hit the stage, everybody would say they would GQ'd out. <laughs> that's the kind of, that's American for you look really awesome. And, um, and now to get a GQ, a GQ Icon Award is amazing to me because I, now I'm really GQ'd out. <laughs> um, this, this uh, I know I'm supposed to make it short, but I just gotta say this country has been so amazing to me. Not only David Bowie and Duran Duran and my great friend Allison, but I remember five years ago, I was a little over five years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer and I was on a book tour and Simon Pegg walked into the BBC morning show when I was on the air and I, I didn't know that we were live and I actually shouted out and I really don't curse very often, but he walked into the studio and, and I went, Sean of the fucking dead. <laughs> And the next thing you know, we became Twitter, yo, Simon, what's up? And we became Twitter friends ever since then. Um, anyway, I want to thank Dylan. Man, this is so awesome. And now I really do feel GQ'd out. And I want to thank the two most important women in my life, Nancy and Fran over at my table. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> 